So tell me, why did you wanted to organize a, a Steve McQueen show? It's been a long-standing dream or aspiration, really, because there's a number of artists whose work we have continually collected that feel very important to um, British art, but to art in general, to the medium. And Steve McQueen is certainly one of those um, artists. So to actually, after he had this moment where I think now a younger generation may associate Steve McQueen principally with work in the cinema, mm -hmm. with feature films. It was very interesting to revisit actually where he really comes from and what his relationship to film as a medium overall is and how different categories of filmmaking relate. But most of the pieces are very early ones. So there's a number of uh, early works, they're not very early. There are <laughs> some, uh, like none of the works that were in his ICA show in 1999 when he won the Turner Prize, none of those works is in the exhibition. So they're all subsequent to that. Yes. Uh, m some of them were shown on individual occasions in London. They were never together. They have a narrative between them, how they uh, connect, so they give a particular uh, flavor. And then, of course, we've also worked on this huge project with Steve McQueen on year three, which is now in view at uh, Tate Britain, which is an enormous contemporary dimension. But uh, in a way, it's, it's not an easy exhibition, right? Uh, this is also an interesting one. I always wonder when, what, what makes exhibitions easy or not easy. So it's a, a bit more abstract. Yes. It, it goes around the subject, non focusing directly. Yeah. I think it's very interesting in terms of at the moment when we think about what is the relationship to art and what is happening in the world. And I just had this conversation with artists from, uh, in Paris about what's the point actually making art. Um, at a point where you would have to be so active as a citizen because there's so many questions to confront. I think the circling around, which is a very good way of describing it, is a very interesting strategy in the work because the circling is also a forcing you to look closely, to engage, not to go sort of straight on, but to walk your way around a question. And I wonder, I would be very curious to see who will come to see the exhibition, what it will be like for people from different backgrounds, because I could imagine that it will be a much more open situation for um, many people than what we conventionally think of as an open or easy exhibition. Do you and think, more difficult for others. But do you think he, uh, he feels like he has a political mission? I don't think it is so much a mission, but I think he's a deeply political artist. I think it's to do with uh, looking at the world, looking at it very unflinchingly, uh, looking at questions of power, at uh, voices, who gets to speak, who gets to be seen. No, but himself, do you think, um, do you think, you said he had opportunities that probably today he could not have anymore. Could you well, explain? Well, I think he's very aware of one of the dimensions of doing the exhibition here is to come back to the place where he comes from. Uh, Steve was born in uh, London and to have a sense of where we are now as a country, as a society, as a city um, and the opportunities that are afforded to whom at this moment in time. We know arts education is continually being diminished. You have to pay for universities, access to who is included in systems of culture. While we would like to be m more inclusive, Actually, a lot of the economic factors speak against that. Merci.